Well, hello, my YouTube family. The worst day ever, God's creation, um, is over, finally. And um, I survived it another Monday. There is really nothing else to say about that. Uh, my lips of the day is rather meh. Um, I had to put a clear gloss on top of what it is. And what is it? Well, let us start off with the liner. NYX Rose Brown Lined and Filled is a black up lipstick in the number four. I don't think you can see that, but that's what it is. It's kind of shimmery. There it is. You would think, oh, that really looks nice. It goes on rather meh. Let me give you a swatch. It's more shimmer than anything else. You see that? It's more shimmer than color, really, and I am not fond. Not fond in the least. And that's just that with that upon that. I had to put, um, what was it? MAC Lip Glass? Was it MAC Lip Glass? Hold on. Yep. MAC Lip Glass on top to give it some shine because on its own, yeah, I'm not fond of this one. I should have gone with a red. But this was a final lipstick that was in my last of the last of the last of the last, I think, Ulta or Sephora. Um, new purchases. So this was the very last thing. Um, yeah, I'm not fond. I'm not fond. It's, it's really, if the brown part was more deep and less shimmery, it wouldn't be so bad. But when you look at it, it's just nothing but shimmer. I'm not fond. So, and you can tell it tends to travel a little bit. It's a little bit of a traveler. So, yeah, this one is, um, this one is not, it'll be tossed way in the back. It's almost the end of the year, people. I'll be doing another clean out. And that is just that with that upon that. So how was everybody's weekend? Because my Saturday consisted of me at the Pet Boys. Well, first I went to uh, Star Auto Dodge Jeep whatever for my you know like the annual or every three month or four month uh, little tune up situation. Remember I showed you I had the fifty nine ninety nine situation. Yeah, about that. Um, I'm sitting there, and the guy calls me to the desk. And I'm thinking, oh, it's it's over already. All right, that's great. He says, you need um, tires. I said, yeah, I know. I need. I, I, there's the, the one on the right that really needs, like, tire pressure. He goes, no, no, you need four brand new tires. See, I wasn't expecting all of that. I said, well, I, I don't have money for all four tires. I don't even have even have money for a tire. Just I thought that you were just gonna put a little pressure on, you know. He said, "No, we can't do anything about this tire. You're going to have to replace all four. So I said, "Well, I'm not going to replace all four. So what do I owe you for whatever it is that you did aside from the tire rotation situation?" So it was forty dollars. Fine, less than the fifty nine ninety nine. But of course, now they, they didn't do anything about the tire, so it's still kind of, you know, it's getting flatter and flatter every time I drive. <sighs> Cut to 
pop saving my ass yet once again. So I go to pop, I come back home, I go to pop and I tell him about the situation. He goes, well, why don't you just use one of my credit cards and get four tires? I said, I'm, I'm sorry, four tires? I said, I, I could do two. He said, no, no, if you're going to change tires, change all four. Okay, and I took the card and then I went to Pet Boys. And uh, they uh, fixed me up right and well. I went in at, what time did I go in? I went in at 11.30. I, I didn't come out until a quarter to three. But I couldn't say anything. I was just grateful, thankful that my pop saved my ass yet once again. And oh, by the way, the tires at the Star, Jeep, Auto, whatever, would have cost me 800 and something for all four tires. That boy has a dealie. Buy three tires, get the last one free. $600. So, yeah. That was Saturday. Wasn't that special? But here's the good thing. Here's the good thing. Because where the tire, where the Pet Boys is, two blocks over is a Chipotle. I was so hungry because I didn't, I, I left home at a quarter to six in the morning to, to get parked, by the way, parked next to the Star Jeep Auto, whatever, because you have to park there early in order to get your car serviced early. I thought I was going to really be the first one. No, there were two Jeeps ahead of me. Whatever. But I went to the Chipotle starving as a mother. I got a barbacoa burrito. I got a, a there's barbacoa and carnitas, carnitas, something like that. I got two burritos, okay, and I bought some chips. I came home. I really thought I was hungry enough to eat both. I was greedy, that greedy. I only ate one. So. I had the other one Sunday for, did I have it for dinner? Or did I have it for lunch? I think I had it for dinner. I had it for dinner. Oh Lord, Chipotle people. Oh my God. I'm saying the words and I really wish I could get, get another burrito now. But um, yes, even Tom says he wants a burrito too. You little greedy bastard. He has all the food in the world that he needs. So, and you're getting kind of, you looking like a little Chipotle yourself. Oh, he didn't like that too much. Okay, so that was Saturday. That was my weekend. That was my weekend. And then Sunday, you know, I just do laundry or what have you. To prepare for the week ahead, which is Monday. So, yeah. That was that with that upon that. But I got to tell you something. When I went to the Star Jeep Auto or whatever, and he was telling me all about this tire situation, he goes to me, why don't you go to the, we do business with a, the tire shop, like right on the other side. Just go to him and tell him that I told you to go over there and you could get, you could just replace this one tire. So I go over there and the guy is sitting right in the front. So I got out of the Jeep and I said, excuse me, I just came from the um, Star Jeep Auto and I would like to have this before I even finish the sentence. What is he doing? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Mm. Tearing, at the, tearing at the carpet again. So I go to, you know, I told him that I wanted to, he, he cut me to the quick. And he said, oh, no, ma'am, 
Um, and he had a bit of an island accent. Oh, no, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to touch this Jeep. I'm not going to touch that tire. I said, but the guy across, he goes, I don't care what the guy across said. You're not going to make me lose my business. I said, excuse me? He said, you are not going to drive away from here with just one new tire. And so I said, you know what? Never mind. I just walked into my Jeep and Island people and their attitudes, they can take their attitudes and shove it up their ass. Is really, because I deal with these people, these people, every day, five days a week. I didn't need to deal with him on a Saturday. I did not need to deal with an island person on Saturday. Okay. I was in a tough enough rut as it was. Then he had to come up with his attitude. He could take his attitude and shove it up his ass. In any event, the situation has been handled. My baby is driving like a dream now. I mean, she is floating on her four new tires. It's a beautiful thing. I really hope I don't need Pop's assistance anytime soon or again. Let's just pray. Okay. So, yeah. So that was that. With that upon that. That is it, people. I am, I'm sorry it's really short today. But it's Monday. Monday drains me to no end. It really, really drains me to no end. Especially when you're confronted. Not really so much confronted. She didn't really confront me. She had to be at least six or seven months pregnant. She's already dragging a one and a half year old dragon. And she's been, she's five or six or seven months pregnant. But wait, that's not the worst of it. She is wearing shorts. I'm not talking Bermuda shorts, people. I'm talking Daisy Dukes. And this is not a small, petite woman I'm referring to. Okay? She needed assistance from the HR department. So my girlfriend, well, I can't really call her a girlfriend, my, my co-worker, who covers for me on Mondays, covers my lunch. She's Haitian also came out and she had to, now pregnant woman is given attitude to coworker. Coworker just nipped it in the bud. She didn't raise her voice. She didn't. This woman wants to know when a certain something having to do with her check, like when is the direct deposit going to hit or whatever, and she needs it to hit right away. And it, it, No, it had nothing to do with direct deposit. It was a piece of paper or information that had to do with child care. Had to do with child care. And she needed it to hit right away. And my coworker is saying, well, I, I, I don't know exactly when it's going to hit. Oh, but you need to let them know. And she goes, I, I can't let anybody know anything. I'm, do, I'm going to do my half of what I need to do when you give me the paper. And when they when I fax it over to them, it's up to them to take care of it whenever they take care of it. Yeah, but you should let them know. She says, I'm going to just do what I have to do, ma'am. Nipped it right in the bud. Oh, okay. Don't you love demanding people? Dem they demand. Like, who are you? I don't recall a crown on your head. I don't recall you being a madam or anything. You might be a mistress, but you ain't no madam. Or maybe you are. Who knows? 
And I'm not talking about a madam, like a royal madam. I'm talking about another kind of madam, okay? It's the attitude. Like they, straight out of the gate, attitude, straight out of the gate. As if that's going to do what? What is the attitude going to do exactly? Going to make this person run any faster? Do something any quicker? No. Especially if the person that you're giving attitude to isn't afraid of your attitude. If anything, the speed that she was going to do it, whatever you needed done, now she's going to do it slower. Now what you going to say? Hopefully, Tuesday through Thursday are the slowest days of the week for me. I don't want any kind of anything happening. I just want to answer the phones. The occasional walk-in. Because Monday is timesheet day. And after 12 o'clock, you're not going to get paid that week. It goes into the following week. So, on Mondays... I have all sorts of personalities to deal with. All sorts of personalities. But that's okay. I'm done. I'm done. I've said what I had to say. I told you the little story of the Jeep and the wheels and all of that and the, and the wheels. Well, the tires are wheels, right? The tires. So that is that with that upon that, people. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm drained. I need to go now, okay? I love you. I hate this. Well, hate is a big, is a rather strong word. I'm not fond. <laughs> not fond. Not fond at all of this. And hopefully, moving forward, the lips will be a lot better, okay? I mean, yeah, it's a nude and everything, and, but no. Okay? I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? Mwah. Bye now.